Welcome to In The Know. I am your host, Tony Reeves. In today's episode, we continue on our journey with me as I reflect on my experiences coming home after five months in the military and the uncertainty that I faced. Join us as we delve into the unique circumstances and the decisions that shaped these early post-college days. Let's jump right in. Coming home after spending five months in the military was a unique experience for me. It meant returning to Florida, moving into a friend's apartment, and facing the reality of not knowing what direction to take in my life. Having completed my five months officer's basic course at Fort McClellan, I found myself without a clear plan. I had not applied to any graduate schools, and I had no idea what I wanted to do. All I had going for me was a couch to sleep on in an area I wanted to live, my college town of Tampa. The question lingered. What do you apply for when you have no idea what job you want? With a degree in biology, I began applying for jobs that could utilize my background. Unfortunately, the job market for my degree was limited, and after weeks of applying, I had only one interview locally, a part-time position on a one-year contract. Feeling the need to expand my search, I started applying for jobs in other parts of Florida, which led me to an unexpected opportunity in Tallahassee. I was offered a position as a safety and health specialist, a role I had never even heard of before. All I knew? was that it required a biology degree, and at that point, I just wanted a secure job. So with two months underneath my belt since getting out of the military, I found myself with a new job, but there was yet another challenge to face. The reality hit hard. I did not have any money. I needed to figure out how to cover my first and last month's rent, utilities, and even put food on the table until my first paycheck arrived. While I had a car and drove back to Tallahassee after accepting the job, the financial burden weighed on me. To overcome this hurdle, I reached out to my mom, my grandfather, and my dad for help. Each had their part to play in assisting me. My mom provided the money for my first month and last month's rent, while my grandfather covered the utility expenses. However, dealing with my dad's contribution became a bit more complicated. See, my dad had a history of promising things without following through, so I asked him for a specific amount to cover my food expenses. Unfortunately, he sent only a fraction of what he had promised, leaving me puzzled and in need of additional support. Despite the financial challenges, I managed to move into the apartment and get everything set up with the help of my mom and my grandfather. However, the limited funds from my dad meant I had to carefully budget the $75 I received for groceries until my first paycheck arrived a month later. Looking back, I questioned whether going back home to Arkansas would have been a better choice, allowing me to be in an environment that provided support while I figured out my next steps. However, I had convinced myself that going home would be a sign of failure. Sometimes we overlook potential support systems in pursuit of independence. Ultimately, things started falling into place. I found myself in a new city without friends initially and with a job I had not anticipated or fully committed to. Nevertheless, I was grateful for the opportunity and eager to embark on the next chapter of my life, even though I had no clue what that chapter would look like. And that concludes another chapter of Life After College. Join us next time as we continue to explore the ups and downs of my postgraduate life. Remember, life is full of unexpected twists and turns, but it is how we adapt and persevere that shapes our journey. Until next time.